Good day everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Yusano Goldi R.L. Marquez. This is differential equations, first order, first degree, ordinary differential equations. In this video, I will be discussing other methods of solving exact differential equations. The other methods of solving exact differential equation of the form m of x y dx plus n of x y dy equal to zero are the following. First, comparison of f's method. f of x y can be obtained from the integral of m of x y dx plus t of y, which is equal to g of x y plus q of x plus t of y where g of x, y plus q of x is obtained from the integral of m of x, y, dx, and t of y is the constant of integration. Also, f of x, y can be computed from the integral of n of x, y, dy plus q of x, which is equal to g of x, y plus t of y plus q of x, where g of x, y plus t of y is obtained from the integral of n of x, y, dy, and q of x is the constant of integration. The general solution to this exact differential equation is given by g of x, y plus q of x plus t of y equals some constant k. The unknown function t of y in 1 can be found in 2, while the unknown function q of x in 2 can be found in 1. Let us apply that method in solving the following examples. Number 1. Solve the differential equation 6xy squared minus 8x cubed quantity dx plus 6x squared y plus 3y squared quantity dy equals 0. First, let us test this differential equation for exactness. We identify m as the coefficient of dx, that is, 6xy squared minus 8x cubed. n is equal to 6x squared y plus 3y squared. Getting the partial derivative of m with respect to y, we hold x constant. The derivative of y squared is 2y times 6x getting 12xy. Derivative of negative 8x cubed is 0. Partial derivative of n with respect to x, we hold y constant. Derivative of x squared is 2x times 6y, we have 12xy. Derivative of 3y squared, 0. Hence, this differential equation is exact, since these two partial derivatives are equal. By comparison of f's method, we compute f from both m and n. f of xy is equal to the integral of m of xy dx plus t of y, but m is equal to 6xy squared minus 8x cubed. Hence, we have integral of 6xy squared minus 8x cubed quantity dx plus t of y. And this is equal to 6 times integral of this is x squared over 2 times y squared, then minus 8 times x to the fourth over 4, plus t of y. Let us simplify this f of x. So getting 3x squared y squared minus 2x to the fourth plus t of y. g of x y here is 3x squared y squared, and q of x is equal to negative 2x to the fourth. Also, f of xy is equal to the integral of 6x squared y plus 3y squared quantity dy plus q of x, where this integrand is the n of xy. Evaluating this integral relative to y, we have y squared over 2 times 6x squared plus y cubed over 3 times 3. Simplifying, we have... 3x squared y squared plus y cubed, then plus q of x. Here, g of xy is equal to 
3x squared y squared while t y t of y is equal to y cubed. The general solution is given by g of x y plus q of x plus t of y equals k. g of x y is equal to 3x squared y squared. q of x is equal to negative 2x to the fourth. t of y is equal to y cubed. Hence, the general solution is 3x squared y squared minus 2x to the fourth plus y cubed equals c. Example number 2. Solve the differential equation for x squared y cubed minus 5y to the fourth plus 2xy to the fifth minus x to the fourth quantity dx plus 4x cubed y squared minus 20xy cubed plus 5x squared y to the fourth plus 2y quantity dy equals 0. First, we test for exactness. M is identified as the coefficient of dx. So that is for x squared y cubed minus 5y to the fourth plus 2xy to the fifth minus x to the fourth. While n is the coefficient of dy. So that is for x cubed y squared minus 20xy cubed plus 5x squared y to the fourth plus 2y. Getting the partial derivative of m with respect to y, we get 12x squared y squared minus 20y to the third plus 10x y to the fourth minus 0. So, getting the partial derivative with respect to x of n, we have 12x squared y squared minus 20y to the third plus 10x y to the fourth plus 0. So, comparing this, we have partial of m with respect to y equals partial of n with respect to x. Hence, the given differential equation is exact. Let's apply comparison of f's method. So, we compute f from both m and n. f of xy is equal to the integral of 4x squared y cubed minus 5y to the fourth plus 2xy to the fifth minus x to the fourth quantity dx plus t of y, where this integrand is dm. So integrating the first term, we have x cubed over 3 times the constant, which is 4y cubed, minus, mm, this is integral of 1 dx, so that is x, times the constant negative 5y to the fourth. So, we have negative 5xy to the 4th plus x squared over 2 times 2y to the 5th minus x to the 5th over 5 plus t of y. Simplifying, we get 4 thirds x cubed y cubed minus 5xy to the 4th plus x squared y to the 5th minus 1 5th x to the 5th plus t of y. Here, we identify q of x as negative 1 fifth x to the fifth. f of xy can also be computed from the integral of 4x cubed y squared minus 20xy cubed plus 5x squared y to the fourth plus 2y quantity dy plus q of x. So this is the end of xy. First term, the integral is y cubed over 3 times 4x cubed minus y to the fourth over 4 times 20x plus y to the fifth over 5 times 5x squared plus y squared over 2 times 2 then plus q of x. Here, we have f of x, y is equal to, after simplifying, we get 4 thirds x cubed y cubed minus 5xy to the fourth plus x squared y to the fifth plus y squared plus q of x. We identify here our t of y as y squared and the common in f in 1 and the f in the second is 4 thirds x cubed y cubed minus 5x y to the fourth plus x squared y to the fifth. So that is g of x y. Q of x, this is what we identified in the f in the first f 
and t of y. So again, t of y is y squared. That is in the second f. So the general solution is given by g of x y plus q of x plus t of y equals some constant k. So substituting the values, we have for g of x y four thirds x cubed y cubed minus five x y to the fourth plus x squared y to the fifth minus q of x negative one fifth x to the fifth plus t of y is y squared and that is equal to c. So, let's simplify this, removing the denominators. So, we multiply by 15. So, we get 20x cubed y cubed minus 75xy to the fourth plus 15x squared y to the fifth minus 3x to the fifth plus 15y squared equals c1 where c1 is equal to 15c so this is the general solution example number three solve the differential equation x squared y to the fifth plus 4y e to the x minus 3 cosine x quantity dx plus 5 thirds x cubed y to the fourth plus 4 e to the x plus 2 sine y quantity dy equals 0 Testing for exactness, we have 4m, the coefficient of dx, 4n, the coefficient of dy, getting the first partial derivative of m with respect to y, we have 5x squared y to the fourth plus 4 e to the x, this is 0. Partial derivative of n with respect to x, we have 5x squared y to the fourth, then 4 e to the x. This is 0. So we have 5x squared y to the 4th plus 4e to the x. Since these two partial derivatives are equal, the given differential equation is exact. So applying the comparison of f's method, we have to solve for f from both m and n. f of xy is equal to the integral of, this is d, m. So we have x squared y to the fifth plus 4y e to the x minus 3x cosine x quantity dx plus t of y. So the first integral, we have one third x cubed, integral of x squared. Then integral of e to the x is e to the x times 4y. Integral of cosine x is sine x times negative 3 plus t of y. So here f of xy is equal to integral of 5 thirds x cubed y to the 4th plus 4 e to the x plus 2 sine y. So this is dn quantity dy so plus q of x. Integrating, so the first term gives 1 third x cubed y to the 5th. So for the second term, so this is integral of 4 e to the x relative to y we have 4 e to the x times y. So, integral of sine y, we have negative cosine y times 2. Then, plus q of x. So, we identify g of x, y as 1 third x cubed y to the fifth plus 4 y e to the x. So, these are the terms common in f of x, y in 1 and f of x, y in 2. So, these two terms. And Q of X is identified as negative 3 sine X. That is the function of X in F of X, Y in 1. And T of Y is in the second F, which is the function of Y, negative cosine Y. So the general solution, which is given by G of X, Y plus Q of X plus T of Y equals constant is... 1 third x cubed y to the 5th plus 4y e to the x minus 3 sine x plus negative 2 cosine y. So I'm going to choose my k as c, c over 3 so that if I multiply this by 3, so this becomes simply c. So we have multiplying this by 3, we x cubed y to the 5th plus 12 y e to the x minus 9 sine x 
minus 6 cosine y equals c. So that's the general solution. Another method of solving exact differential equation of the form m of x y dx plus n of x y dy equal to 0 is by the use of direct formula. The general solution is obtained from the following formulas. First, integral from x sub 0 to x m of t y dt plus y sub 0 to y n of x sub 0 t dt equals some constant k. In this integral, after evaluation, this will be in terms of x and y, while the second integral after evaluation will be in terms of y. The second formula that can be used as an option, we have integral from x sub 0 to x, m of t y sub 0 dt plus integral from y sub 0 to y, n of x t dt equals some constant k. So, here, in this first integral, after evaluation, it will be in terms of x alone, while the second integral in the second formula, after evaluation, it will be in terms of x and y. The limits x sub 0 and y sub 0 are any constant values where x sub 0, y sub 0 is a point for which m and n are continuous. Let us have the following examples. Example number 1. Solve the differential equation 6xy squared minus 8x cubed quantity dx plus 6x squared y plus 3y squared quantity dy equal to 0. Let's proceed immediately to finding the general solution because we already tested this for exactness. So let x sub 0, y sub 0 be equal to 0, 0. Actually, any point can be chosen as long as m and n are continuous. Let's compute m of ty. So this means we are going to replace x by t and the y will remain y. So 6 times t, y squared minus 8t cubed. For n of x sub 0 t, so, we are going to replace x sub 0 by, of course, its value 0, and the, the y by t. So, here, 6 times 0 squared, t plus 3, t squared. Simplifying this, we get 3, t squared as the value of n of x sub 0, t, where x sub 0 is 0. The general solution is given by this formula because what we have computed are m of t, y, n, n of x sub 0 t. Substituting their values, we get integral from 0 to x of 60y squared minus 80 cubed quantity dt plus integral from 0 to y of 3t squared dt equals c. I choose c as my k. So this gives us relative to t. So t squared over 2, so times 6, 3t is squared y squared, t to the fourth over 4 times negative 8, so we have negative 2, t to the fourth, evaluated from 0 to x. These are values of t. And then here, in the second integral, t cubed over 3 times 3, so that is simply t cubed, so evaluated from 0 to y. These are also values of t. So let us evaluate this function when x is, when t is x. So this is equal to 3x squared y squared minus 2x to the fourth. When t is 0, so everything is 0, so this will not give or will not contribute to the value. So we have 3x squared y squared minus 2x to the fourth for this first group. For the second group, we have t cubed evaluated from 0 to y. So when t is y, we have y cubed minus 0, so we have y cubed. Hence, the general solution is given by 3x squared y squared minus 2x to the fourth plus y cubed equals c. So let us have the second example. Solve the differential equation for x squared y cubed minus 5y to the fourth plus 2xy to the fifth minus x to the fourth quantity dx plus 
4x cubed y squared minus 20xy cubed plus 5x squared y to the 4 plus 2y quantity dy equal to 0. We're going to skip again the testing for exactness because we already tested this for exact, exactness in the previous method. So let's proceed to the, to the finding of general solution. So we let x sub 0, y sub 0 to be the point 0, 0. So let's check. So at 0, 0, every term here has no problem. So same thing with the coefficient dy since they are both polynomials. So let us compute m of ty. So here x is replaced by t and y will still the same as y. So we have 4 t squared y cubed minus 5y to the 4th plus 2ty to the 5th minus t to the 4th. Computing n of x sub 0 t where x sub 0 is 0 we have to replace x sub 0 by 0 and y by t so we have 4 times 0 cubed so this is 0 minus 20 times 0 so this is 0 already plus 5 times 0 squared so this is also 0 so we the remaining is just 2t so that's the value of n of 0 t. The general solution is given by this formula because we have chosen m of t y n, n of x sub 0 t. So substituting the values, we get integral from 0 to x of 4 t squared y cubed minus 5 y to the 4th plus 2 t y to the 5th minus t to the 4th quantity dt plus integral from 0 to y of 2t dt equals c. So my k is c. Relative to t, so this is t cubed over 3 times 4 y cubed. So 4 thirds t cubed y cubed. So this is relative to t is 5 negative 5 t y to the 4th. And then here, t squared over 2, so 2 is cancelled, times y to the 5th, minus t to the 5th over 5, evaluated from 0 to x. And then the second integral, that is t squared over 2 times 2, t squared, evaluated from 0 to y. So let us evaluate this function when t is x, and then minus the same function when t is 0. So let us have, so 4 thirds x cubed y cubed minus 5x y to the fourth plus x squared y to the fifth minus one fifth x to the fifth so evaluating this when t is zero so everything is zero so this the value will of this will not contribute to the value of this expression so for the second term we have when t is y, so that is y squared minus when t is 0, so 0, so y squared. So giving 4 thirds x cubed y cubed minus 5xy to the 4th plus x squared y to the 5th minus 1 fifth x to the 5th plus y squared equals c. Let us put this in a better form by removing the denominators in this first term and this fourth term. So, we multiply by 15. So, we get 20x cubed y cubed minus 75xy to the 4th plus 15x squared y to the 5th minus 3x to the 5th plus 15y squared equals 15c where 15c is equal to c sub 1. So, this is the general solution of the given exact differential equation. Let us have this last example for this method. Solve the differential equation x squared y to the fifth plus 4y e to the x minus 3 cosine x quantity dx plus 5 thirds x cubed y to the fourth plus 4 e to the x plus 2 sine y quantity dy equal to 0. So we proceed to finding the general solution because this is the same problem in the 
first method that we had. So, let x sub 0, y sub 0 be again 0, 0 because checking every term here. So, this expression or this function has no problem. Same thing for the coefficient of dy. So, sine 0. So, the problem with this. So, we proceed. Let's compute m of ty. So, replacing x by t and y by still y. So, we have t squared y to the fifth plus 4y e to the t minus 3 cosine t for n of 0 t. So, this is our x sub 0. We have, this is 0. So, this is not needed anymore. Plus 4, this is e to the 0. That is 1. So, 4 times 1, 4. Plus 2 times sine t. So, n of 0 t is 4 plus 2 sine t. The general solution is given by this because what we have computed, m of t, y, and n of x of 0, t. Let's substitute their values. We have integral from 0 to x of t squared y to the fifth plus 4y e to the t minus 3 cosine t quantity dt plus integral from 0 to y of 4 plus 2 sine t quantity dt equals c sub 1. I choose my k as c sub 1. So, evaluating this integral relative to t, t cubed over 3 times y to the fifth plus 4y times integral of e to the t is e to the t dt is e to the t. So, times 4y, so we have 4y e to the t minus 3 integral of cosine t dt that is sine t. So, negative 3 sine t evaluated from 0 to x. Then, for the second integral, Integral of 4 dt is 4t. Integral of sine is negative cosine. So, negative 2 cosine t evaluated from 0 to y equals c sub 1. So, let's evaluate this when t is x. So, this is 1 third x cubed y to the fifth plus 4 y e to the x minus 3 sine x. So, when t is 0, so this is 0, e to the 0 is 1 times 4y. So, we have 4y because minus of this. So, minus 4y minus of negative 3 sine 0, but this is 0. So, we have just negative 4y. Plus, for this, 4y minus 2 times cosine y minus value of this when t is 0. When t is 0, this is 0 and this is 1. So, minus negative 2, that is positive 2 cosine 0. So, cosine 0 is 1, so positive 2 equals c sub 1. So, simplifying, this is multiplied by 3 so let's multiply by 3 uh, each side so we have x cubed y to the p for the first term times 3 12 y e to the x minus 9 sine x so this is cancelled with 4y negative 4y plus 4y 0 so negative times 3 negative 6 cosine y times 3 that is uh, 6 equals c sub 1. So, let 3 c sub 1, this because this is 3, 3 c sub 1 minus 6 be simply c. So, this is our final general solution. So, that's the last for that method. So, another method of solving exact differential equation of the form m of x, y, dx plus n of x, y, dy equal to 0 um, is by the use of shortcut method. This is my favorite method because it's, I think it's the easiest method to use. So, this is very similar to the previous one. What we just did, we removed the limits so, and we replaced or we put back the, the x instead of t and in the second integral, 
remember we have y sub 0 to y integral from y sub 0 to y n of x sub 0 t so if you recall after evaluation so that integral always gives a function of t so what we do we just get from n so which is which we are going to call n sub 1 all the terms without x so that we are left with a function that is in terms of y only so integral of m of x y dx plus integral of m sub 1 of y dy equals some constant k as the general solution for this so as long as this is exact of course or as an option we have this formula by the way here again n sub 1 of y is a function consisting of terms of n of x y without x so terms after expressing n in its expanded form so you get you just get all the terms without x so that will give us n sub 1 of y so as an option we have integral of m sub 1 of x dx plus integral of n of x y dy equals k so instead of n sub 1 we have m of 1 of x so here this is in terms of x so while this one is in terms of x and y but holding x constant so similar to n sub 1 here m sub 1 of x is a function consisting of all of of terms of m of x y without y so from m we're going to get after expressing m in expanded form so we are going to get all the terms without y so leaving function of x so we call that m sub 1 of x so let's apply this in solving the following examples so example 1 solve the differential equation 6xy squared minus 8x cubed quantity dx plus 6x squared y plus 3y squared quantity dy equal to 0 so we are going to skip the testing for exactness here because we already tested this for exactness because this is the same problem number one in the previous methods so the general solution is given by integral of m of x y dx plus integral of n sub 1 of y dy equals constant let's say k so if i'm going to choose that formula n sub 1 of y is 3y squared so in n the only term without x is 3y squared so that is n sub 1 of y so the general solution therefore is given by integral of m of x y dx plus integral of n sub 1 of y dy equals some constant k so m here is 6xy squared minus 8x cubed quantity dx so we have integral of that so relative to x so here in n sub 1 of y is 3y squared so integral of 3y squared dy so equal c so let's evaluate so this is relative to x x squared over 2 so that is 3x squared y squared x to the fourth over 4 times negative 8 negative 2x to the fourth plus this is y cubed over 3 so equal c so that's already the general solution c very simple so among the methods that we have presented i think this is the easiest or the quickest way to arrive to the general solution so let us have number two solve the differential equation for x squared y cubed minus 5y to the fourth plus 2xy to the fifth minus x to the fourth quantity dx plus 4x cubed y squared minus 20xy cubed plus 5x squared y to the fourth plus 2y quantity dy equal to zero this is also number two of the previous methods that we had so skipping the testing for exactness so proceed to finding the general solution so if we're going to use option one i here i i choose this time option two so i'm going to compute m sub one of x so here i'm going to get all the terms 
without y. So, all the terms without y, there is y, there is y, there is y. So, just negative x to the fourth. So, the general solution, therefore, is given by integral of m sub 1 of x dx plus integral of n of x y dy equal some constant k. So, this is the second option. So, substituting the, their values, we have integral of negative x to the fourth, that is m sub 1 of x, coming from m of x, y, terms without y. So, that is negative x to the fourth, plus integral of n of x, y. So, we just copy the coefficient of dy equals c, my k, I want it to be c. So, integrating this, the relative to x, negative x to the fifth over 5, plus Relative to y, so y cubed over 3 times 4x cubed. So, 4 thirds x cubed, y cubed. So, relative to y, y to the 4th over 4. So, 20 over 4, that is 5. So, negative 5x, y to the 4th. So, we have y to the 5th over 5. So, cancel with this 5. So, x is squared y to the 5th. So, y squared over 2, cancel the 2. So, we have y squared equals c. So, this is the general solution. So, let's just remove this 5 and 3 by multiplying by 15. So, we get 20x cubed y cubed minus 75xy to the 4th plus 15x squared y to the 5th minus 3x to the 5th plus 15y squared equals 15c where 15c is equal to c1. So, this is the general solution to the given exact differential equation. Example number 3. Solve the differential equation x squared y to the fifth plus 4y e to the x minus 3 cosine x quantity dx plus 5 thirds x cubed y to the fourth plus 4 e to the x plus 2 sine y quantity dy equal to 0. Again, we skip the testing for exactness because we already tested this. So, let's proceed to the finding of general solution. So, let me compute n sub 1 of y. So, meaning I'm going to use the first formula for the shortcut method. So, from n of x, y, so the terms without x, just the last term, which is 2 sine y. The general solution is given by integral of m of x, y, dx plus integral of n sub 1 of y, dy equals some constant k. m of x, y is equal to x squared y to the fifth plus 4y e to the x minus 3 cosine x quantity dx. So this is the m dx plus the integral of 2 sine y, dy. So 2 sine y is, a, is the n sub 1 of y equals c sub 1. So, I choose my k as c sub 1. Evaluating this first integral, we have for the first term, 1 third x cubed. So, that is x cubed over 3 times y to the fifth. So, plus integral of e to the x dx is e to the x times 4y. Integral of cosine x is sine x times negative 3. So, negative 3 sine x. For the second integral, we have integral of 2 sine y. So, for sine y, integral is negative cos sine y times 2. So, equals is sub 1. So, let's simplify this by multiplying by 3 so that no denominator appears in, uh, in this term. So, we get x cubed y to the fifth times 3 here. So, 12y e to the x minus 9 sine x. Minus 6 cosine y equals 3c1. Let 3c sub 1 be equal to c. So, this is the general solution. The last method of solving exact differential equation that I'm going to present is the method of groupings. This method depends on how you will able to recognize exact differential combination. An exact differential combination takes the form g of x times differential of h of y plus h of y times the differential of g of x. This exact differential combination is the differential of g of x times 
each of y. So let us have an example. For instance, if I have x dy plus y dx, so this is an exact differential since it can be expressed in the form differential of xy. So if I'm going to get the differential of xy, I get x dy plus y dx. So let us have another one. 2x cubed y dy plus 3x squared y squared dx is an exact differential combination because it is the differential of x cubed y squared. But how to get this x cubed y squared? Now to get this x cubed y squared, so all we have to do is to integrate the first term or the first differential in the combination and then also take the integral of the second differential in this combination. If you will come up with the same function, then this is an exact differential. So let's check. Integral of 2x cubed y squared dy that is relative to y, y squared over, over 2 times 2x cubed, so giving x cubed y squared. Integral of this second differential in this combination, we have relative to x, x cubed over 3 times 3 y squared, so we also get x cubed y squared. Hence, this is an exact differential combination equal to the differential of this common function to this integral. So let us have the third. x squared cosine y dy plus 2x sine y dx. So this is an exact differential combination because we can express it in the form differential of x squared sine y which is the product of g of x and h of y. So this is our g of x and this is our h of y. So again, how to get this? g of x times h of y. So integrate the first differential in this combination and also compare it to the integral of the second differential in this combination. So the integral of the first differential in the combination, we have x squared times sine y because the integral of cosine y is sine y times the constant x squared. Integral of this differential, we have relative to x, x squared over 2 times 2, so cancel, times sine y. So giving x squared sine y also. So since we come up with a common function in these integrals, so or from these integrals, we say that this is an exact differential combination and which is equal to the differential of x squared sine y. For the fourth one, 4y squared e to the x dx plus 8y e to the x dy. This is an exact differential combination since it can be expressed as a differential of 4y squared e to the x. But how did we get 4y squared e to the x? So we integrate the first term of this differential combination. So we have relative to x e to the x times 4y squared. Hence, we have 4y squared e to the x. From the second term, we have integral of e to y e to the x quantity dy. So, integrating this relative to y, we get 4y squared e to the x also because this is y squared over 2. 8 divided by 2, that is 4 times y squared e to the x. Since we get the same function from these two integrals, this is an exact differential combination, which is equal to differential of 4y squared e to the x. Take note that the integral of the exact differential combination of the form g of x times differential of h of y plus h of y times the differential of g of x is equal to the integral of the differential of g of x h of y and this is equal to g of h times h of y. Let us have the following examples. Solve the differential equation 6xy squared minus 8x cubed quantity dx plus 6x squared y plus 3y squared quantity dy equals 0. We're going to skip the testing for exactness here because we already tested this from the previous methods. 
So let's proceed to the finding the general solution. So given this differential equation, first step of course is to expand because we are going to form exact differential combinations. So expansion gives us 6xy squared dx minus 8x cubed dx and for the second group 6x squared y dy plus 3y squared dy. For the differential 6xy squared dx, the possible differential in combination with this is 6x squared y dy. Notice that these are of the same degree. And this differential, negative 8x cubed dx, is already an exact differential because this is involving just one variable. Same thing for 3y squared dy. So this is also an exact differential because this involves one variable only. From this differential, let's see if this is an EDC. So to check if it is an EDC, let's integrate this first term. We have relative to x, x squared over 2 times 6y squared, we get 3x squared y squared. If we will able to get this same function from the integral of the second term, then this is an exact differential which is equal to differential of 3x squared y squared. So let's integrate this second term. We have relative to y, y squared over 2, 6 over 2, that is 3 times x squared y squared. So since we get the same function from the integrals of this, so this is an exact differential combination and which is equal to differential of 3x squared y squared. Now, no problem with this because this is already an exact differential together with this last term on this left side. So we can now get the general solution. All we have to do is to integrate each side of this differential equation. This first integral is equal to 3x squared y squared. So the second integral gives us minus 8x to the fourth over 4. So that is negative 2x to the fourth. And then the last integral gives us y cubed over 3 times 3. So we have y cubed equals c. Hence, the general solution is... 3x squared y squared minus 2x to the fourth plus y cubed equals c. Let us have the second example. Solve the differential equation for x squared y cubed minus 5y to the fourth plus 2xy to the fifth minus x to the fourth quantity dx plus 4x cubed y squared minus 20xy cubed plus 5xy squared 5x squared y to the fourth plus 2y quantity dy equal to 0. So we skip this testing for exactness. So uh, we tested this already from the previous method. So let's proceed to finding the general solution. So from this differential equation, let's try to expand. So we have 4x squared y cubed dx minus 5y to the fourth dx plus 2xy to the fifth dx minus x to the fourth dx plus 4x cubed y squared dy minus 20xy cubed dy plus 5x squared y to the fourth dy plus 2y dy. So that is equal to 0. Let's now form exact differential combinations. So for the first term, this is in combination with... 4x cubed y cubed, degree 5, degree 5, so possible. For this term, we have the possible uh, partner is negative 20xy cubed dy, degree 4, d degree 4. So, factoring out negative, so we have negative of 5y to the 40x plus 20xy cubed dy. For the third term, 
the possible partner is 5x squared y to the fourth dy. So, degree 6, degree 6, so possible. So, and then this is already an exact differential involving the variable x. Also, 2y dy is already an exact differential because it contains only one variable y. Let's check this first group if this is an exact differential combination. Integrating the first term, we have relative to x, x cubed over 3 times 4 y cubed, getting 4 thirds x cubed y cubed. Checking for the second term, the integral relative to y is y cubed over 3 times 4 x cubed, so we also get this, this function. So it means this is an EDC. For the second group, the integral of the first term, that is 5x, y to the fourth, and so we get 5x, y to the fourth. And for the second term, relative to y, the integral is y to the fourth over 4 times 20x, so getting 5x, y to the fourth also. For the third group, integrating relative to x, x squared over 2 times 2y to the fifth, so we get x squared y to the fifth. Let's see if this is also what we will get from the integral of the second term. So for, for, for this second term, the integral is y to the fifth over 5 times 5x five squared. So that is also x squared y to the fifth. No problem with this mm, mm, in differential and also with 2y dy because they are already exact differentials. To get the general solution, all we have to do is to integrate each side of this differential equation. For the first term, we have 4 thirds x cubed y cubed. Second term, so the integral is 5xy to the fourth. Third term, the integral is x squared y to the fifth. So this integral, we have negative x to the fifth over 5, and then the last integral, y squared over 2 times 2, we have y squared equals c. Multiplying by 15, we get 20x cubed y cubed minus 45xy to the fourth plus 15x squared y to the fifth minus 3x to the fifth plus 15y squared equals 15c, where 15c is equal to C sub 1. So this is the general solution of the given, gen, the given exact differential equation. Let us have this last example. Solve the differential equation. x squared y to the fifth plus 4y e to the x minus 3 cosine x quantity dx plus 5 thirds x cubed y e to the fourth plus 4 e to the x plus 2 sine y quantity dy equals 0. So, we skip the testing for exactness. We proceed to the finding on, of general solution. So, let's expand this mm, differential, mm, first differential group, and then this second group. For the first group, we have x squared y to the fifth dx plus 4y e to the x dx minus 3 cosine x dx. Last, for, from the second group, we have 5 thirds x cubed y to the fourth dy plus 4 e to the x dy plus 4 si 2 sine y dy equals 0. So, let's now form exact differential combinations. For the first term, so the possible partner is, so let's see, 5 thirds x cubed y to the fourth degree 7 degree 7. So that's the possible first possible group. So second group we have 4y e to the x. So obviously, so we partner it with 4 e to the x dy. And then this third differential is already an exact differential involving the variable x. Same thing with 2 sine y dy. So no problem with this two terms equals zero. So let's see if this is really an, an EDC. So that is differential of one third x cubed y to the fifth. Let's check. 
relative to x, the integral is x cubed over 3, y to the fifth. So, okay. For the second term, integral relative to y is 5 thirds x cubed y to the fifth over 5. So, 5 is cancelled. So, getting also 1 third x cubed y to the fifth. So, this is really an EDC. What about the second group? So, integrating, the, integrating relative to x, we have e to the x times 4y. So, 4y e to the x. So, here, relative to y, 4y e to the x also. So, this is an EDC or an exact differential combination. So, no problem with this last two terms. They are um, exact differentials already. So, let's now get the general solution by integrating its side of this differential equation. The first integral gives us one-third x cubed y to the fifth. The second one gives us 4y e to the x minus 3 cosine. Integral of cosine is sine. So, we have negative 3 sine x. Integral of sine is negative cosine. So, we have negative 2 cosine y equals c. So, let's mm, remove this mm, approx, I mean denominator here by multiplying its side by 3. So, multiplying gives us x cubed y to the fifth plus 12 y e to the x minus 9 sine x minus 6 cosine y equals 3c. Let 3c be equal to c sub 1. So, this is the general solution. Again, the x cubed y to the fifth plus 12y e to the x minus 9 sine x minus 6 cosine y equals c sub 1. So that's all for this last method of solving exact differential equations. That is by using the method of groupings. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Yusano Goldi R.L. Marquez. Bye!